Hi, I'm Sillian. Welcome to my art channel. In this video, I show you how to paint morning glory flowers in oil color. Enjoy! So here are going to be our morning glory flowers. And that's the common name for over a thousand species of flowering plants in this family. And they're a kind of flower that likes a lot of sunlight, hence its name, Morning Glory. So here, I'm showing a viewpoint of looking at it straight on. That means from the top down, sort of, not from the side much. <laughs> And it's actually a trumpet or funnel shape. So when you're looking at it from the top, <clears throat> you see this pentagon. When you look from the side, you almost wouldn't recognize it because it's such a different shape than what it looks like when you're looking at it straight on. And since they come in different colors, blue, purple, red, white, yellow, and a lot of variations. So I chose a few colors to make these. But over here I'm starting them all off in white. And that will give us a good underbase to add the color on top. This white is a uh, thin down with liquid original. And we're putting down the the basic shape, um, although not entirely, since I do want to leave some spaces for a bit of darker color here and there. And now I'm using my handy fan brush. And I have it dipped into two different colors so that I get two colors onto the flower at the same time. Since they very often have a combination of colors in their petals. And I'm working from the outside towards the inside of the funnel. So morning glories will unravel into full bloom in the early morning. But there are some that bloom at night. And they grow fast, and they like to twine around things, and crawl up buildings with their vines. So they can be a good plant to have on a house, because uh, they create a lot of shade on it, and they'll keep it cooler in the summer. So if you're trying to keep your house cooler, it's good to, good to grow vine plants on it, since they bring shade underneath them. Okay, so here you see the inside is white, <clears throat> since that is the funnel area. And it has five fused petals, so that's how we get the sort of pentagon shape. which I did not show so much in this painting since there are variations in their exact shapes, they're not all exactly the same so mine are more rounded And some of their family is related to water spinach and sweet potatoes. 
and some of them of their seeds of two of their species are a source of drugs so I guess probably shouldn't eat them and the first place it was known of course was in China since they used it for medicine and then they brought it to Japan of course since things have to travel around and it's one of the flowers of September and it also happens to be for 11th wedding anniversaries so if that's what you're up to you can put in your bouquet I just put some leaves and greenery around and the fan brush is very helpful for that as well since if you start off with one end and then you sort of shake it around and end off with a tip it makes nice leaves Now we're going to put a different color of it. So we'll go down again with the white. And this time we're putting on some crimson. So you see how you just need a little bit of the color of whichever color you choose red, yellow, white, blue, purple and you'll pick up the white paint underneath as you touch and then you'll leave the inside white which is for the funnel part so you start on the outside petals and you bring it towards the center and don't touch the center so that it stays white and here you see I made a side view of one and you see how funnily it really is it's much longer taller flower than it looks like when you look at it from the top like if you're looking at it from the top you could mistake it almost for a pansy but then you see it from the side and you wonder where that whole thing came from